Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Can you hear me in the back? Thank you very much. So, this is uh, one of the first meetings I've had. I'm having, see, I'm going to go around the country and have meetings with every single person who is involved with the coffee, coffee industry. Because, you know, I'm an outsider to the industry. But anywhere, so here's what I, here are the things I know. Anywhere in the world I go, I said, do you know Blue Mountain Coffee? They said, yes. I said, when, so what do you think Blue Mountain Coffee, what does Blue Mountain Coffee mean to you? Anywhere in the world, whether it's Australia, whether it's Germany, whether it's England, whether it's United States, Canada, what do you think Blue Mountain Coffee means to you? They said, well, it's good taste, the best taste, it's expensive, and I can't get it. <laughs> Those are the things that come to people's mind when you say Blue Mountain Coffee anywhere in the world, right? It's greatest, it's expensive, and I can't get it. Now, in any business, the most important, the most difficult part of any business is to make yourself, your business known to make your business known. This business or business of Blue Mountain Coffee is known already. So that's a, that's a huge challenge that we don't have to deal with anymore. That challenge has been dealt with over the years since Wallingford started coffee in Jamaica in 1760. So it's history that has, that we're, that, that has caused Blue Mountain Coffee to be known everywhere in the world. So now, if you said to the same person in Australia, Timbuktu, New Zealand, France, Germany, Blue Mountain Coffee, they said, what do you think? Do you think everybody in associated with the production of Blue Mountain Coffee from the farmers right up, do you think they're rich? They'll say, yes, must be rich. <laughs> Because if it is no one everywhere in the world, the farmers must be rich. So ladies and gentlemen, are you rich? No. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. How oh come? How oh come? Eh? Oh, I don't understand this. If you, if you are involved with a business that's known everywhere in the world, how oh, come you're not rich? You don't understand this. So that is so no, but what we all know, nobody is rich. In fact, the industry is in decline. But this is crazy. The other thing that's crazy is the following: if you have a business and everybody wants what you have and they can't get it and they know it's good quality, who should control the price? The, the buyer or the seller? The seller. So now, who controls the price of Blue Mountain? The buyer. Does that make any sense? So again, the industry that we are a part of, it's upside down. Also, if you own Blue Mountain Coffee and people can't get it, it's expensive, right? Why, what would you rather sell? Would you rather sell, and by the way, in abroad, I've seen it in Harrods. Harrods is a big department store in London where, where they sell everything. It's world renowned, Harrods, right? They said, when I went in there, I got the shock of my life because Blue Mountain Coffee was being sold in Harrods for 150 US dollars per pound. Yes. So I thought, this is crazy. Everybody in the, the farmers in Jamaica must be rich. <laughs> so we have, a, we have a situation here that is very dysfunctional it's upside down so so what we want to do what we want to and we have the opportunity we have the opportunity to really hold on sir hold on sir we have the opportunity to really turn it around right and it, it should it, it shouldn't be a difficult task because again we are known we just have to improve our production right we have to improve our production at our end, uh, and to improve our production, we have to have better cultural practices, we have to have access to working capital, we have to have access to weed side, we have to have access to pesticide, right? And encouragement. Now, 
suppose I said to you, all right, we at Wallingford will give, do our part to give you those access. What is your side of the deal? Pardon me? You give us the beans. Is it a deal? Yes. 100%? Yes. So, I'm going to hold my side of the bargain. Yes. You're going to hold your side? Yes. All right. So, we're in business. Yes. All right. Okay. So, now, so, we, we, so that's on the. We, so, so the, the, by, by the way, how much did you get for your boxes, your box of coffee last year? $3,000, right? Last year? $3,200. $3, How much you get in feet this year? $4,000 and more. $4,000 and more. From three to $4,000 and more is like greater than a 35% increase. How, do, how come that increase just came when Wally Fund came in the business? How come? How come? So therefore, therefore, what should you be doing? Yeah. We have to support each other. Yeah. Right? So we will we will I stand here today and say, look, we'll do our part. We'll do our part to make your life better. Because my ambition is I want to see everything. I very firstly, my disappointment is when I look at Jamaica and I think about all the good that we had 50 years ago, 40 years ago, 30 years ago. And when I look at it now and I see all I see is decay. Right? That's all we see, right? All we see is suffering. And we say, well, but that's not right. That's not right. The country is blessed. The country is blessed. Nobody can produce blue mountain coffee. That's a God-given blessing. Nobody else can do it. So we are blessed, and yes, we just dash it away. What kind of foolishness is that? So we're about to change it. So we'll do our part in terms of supporting you. We'll also do our part in terms of opening new markets abroad. So they, when they say blue morning coffee, they'll say great taste, they'll say it's expensive, and we can get it. Yes. Right? Yes. So that's all.